Should you summon on the Global Metal Cooler banner as a free-to-play player? Short answer is probably not unless you've got a lot of good Frieza boys in your box. Dolphins, maybe 2-4 to four multis, depending on your box, how much you like Frieza, and how much you're willing to spend. But hey there everyone, my name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear, and today we're going to take a look at Metal Cooler and go over why you may not want to summon on his new banner. The long answer is that while Metal Cooler is a fantastic unit on his own, and certainly a buff for extreme AGL and movie bosses, his category Wicked Bloodlines is a little limited and his banner is not great. If you don't know, I'll give you the simplified version of what he does. He's a 170% leader for the Wicked Bloodline, essentially that's Frieza, Cooler, plus any King Cold cards we get in the future. Uh, something to note is that Frost will not fall under this category. So if you're looking to use that new STR one, this is not the team for him. Metal Cooler has got immense damage, buffs his attack each time he gets hit, recovers HP, and transforms one time when you fall under 50%. Think a little bit like AGL Tapion. Oh, and Metal Cooler's super attack animation is awesome, definitely worth checking out if you have the chance. But that's all pretty great, the problem kind of lies in his category. If you have the optimal team, it's a pretty great team to run, uh, definitely not in the top teams, but it's a lot of fun. An example team is on your screen, it might not be perfect, but it'll be pretty close. Unfortunately, as you can see, most of the good Frieza family characters are Doken Fests, and there's not a whole lot of other options to choose from, especially if you compare it to something like Pure Saiyans, which is a super versatile category. I'll put a non doken Fest team as well as the free-to-play alternative on the screen for you. As you can see, they aren't terrible, but they're certainly not great. Compared to something like the Ginyu Force team, the free-to-play Metal Cooler team is a bit better, but not enough that I would say free-to-play players should go all in on it. So unless you summon a lot on the Transforming Frieza banner and have a bunch of good Frieza units, I personally wouldn't recommend the category. Plus, if you want to run the Frieza meme team like I like to do sometimes, Transforming Frieza is an okay enough leader for it. When it comes to banners, as a free-to-play player, you're looking for banners with a lot of value, not just a good main unit. Unfortunately, Metal Cooler's banner consists of Metal Cooler, which is great, we talked about that, two new non doken Fest units, which are also good, but you can get those on any banner and they really aren't must-haves for any team, a future Gohan, whose category is going to be replaced on the next Doken Fest banner for Int Goku Black. If you don't know, Int Goku Black's leader skill is essentially just future Gohans, but with more units and better. Uh, Jiren, who's also a good leader, but he's featured a lot. He's also not as good as Hit, so I like him, but if you really want to go for him, you're better off just waiting for the year 4 anniversary banners. Uh, he'll be on Goku's banner. Final Form Cooler, which is actually great, I like him a lot. He's a bit old so you might already have him, but for the purpose of the math today, we're going to consider him as a good unit that we want to try to get. As well as Final Form Frieza, who's a redstone unit, uh, which essentially just every uh, celebration, every big celebration at least, you're getting a redstone, and you can pretty much just get him for free if you want to. So Gohan, Jiren, and Final Form Frieza's are busts. They're not what you should be targeting, which is essentially 42% of the featured SSRs. 28% are non doken Fest cards that would probably be nice to have, but really shouldn't be a priority. Which only leaves about 30% of the featured units as worthy targets, or what we will consider worthy targets. If you plug that into the calculator, it's only about a 13% chance for each multi that you'll pull one of those two. If you want to consider the two new non doken Fests as well, that'll raise the chance to about 25% per multi, which is still not great, honestly. It's also important to consider that the red coins are coming, and Metal Cooler might be a good target to use the coins on whenever he comes back, especially if you already have Gogeta, and you've got Vegito, and maybe you just really want to try out this team. So my personal recommendation is for free-to-play players to save. Dolphins maybe could try their luck, Depending on how much they like the character, a whale should go all in so that we get top grossing. Please. But hey guys, thanks for watching. 
I was hoping to start Doken Battle content with some guides this weekend, but it just so happened that I had an extra day of free time and the cooler banner dropped. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying out this kind of analysis and I hope you guys like it. Feel free to let me know if you have any suggestions or changes you'd like to see. Part of the reason I wanted to do an analysis for some of the banners like this is so I can actually process my thoughts on whether I should summon or not. You know, whenever a new banner comes out, people like to hype it up, and sometimes I get a little caught up in the hype. That's why I wanted to take a more objective-ish look for myself and get that out there for anyone else who might be in my situation. But anyway, I hope you have a good day, good week, good life, and subscribe for more Doken Battle content. Bye!